my dear brothers and sisters. First, we have a question today. What could that the gospel reading have to say to us today? This is a question. The gospel have to say us today. Wow. You know, there is a sense in which we are sent out on mission by the Lord, as I told you in the first uh, us, uh, open the Mass. We are called to share our faith with others in some way, you know. There's to be a missionary dimension to our faith. For most of us, that will not mean going on a journey far from our house. Like Amos, who was sent by God from his work as a shepherd to bring God's uh, word far from the north. Uh, Prophet Amos, uh, he lived in the south of Palestine. So God sent him to the north of the Palestine and uh, say the Lord uh, to the king of uh, the north kingdom. Most of us are asked to be missionary wherever we find ourselves. In the gospel reading, Jesus sent the twelve to bring his healing power to those whom they would meet on their journey. We show ourselves to be the Lord's missionaries whenever we are instruments of his healing presence in the places where we live and work. The Lord wants to work through each one of us to build us, inspire, and strengthen those we meet. The twelve were sent out to give to others what they, what they themselves have received from the Lord. Before we can be instruments of the Lord's sustaining and healing presence, we need to experience His presence in our own life. Before the trials were sent out by the Lord, they have to spend time in His company. Jesus first called them to be present, to, to be present to Him, to experience His loving and life giving presence in their own life. Only after some time to receiving from the Lord did He send them out to give as they have received, you know. If as individuals we are to be the Lord's missionary today, we need to learn to receive from His first. The Lord has much to give us and we have much to receive from Him. The Lord's mission to each one of us is primary. If we welcome the Lord's mission to us, if we allow the Lord to serve us, then we will be empowered to share in His mission to service to others. The Lord will work through us to bring healing and wholeness to the lives of others, you know. The Lord serves us when we come before Him in prayer. He also serves us to others also, you know. Perhaps the Lord sent out the twelve with the so few material provisions because He wanted them to receive from others as well as to give to them. 
Yes, they have a wonderful treasures to share, but they also have much to receive from those to whom they was being sent. They were sent out by the Lord in a vulnerable state so that they would learn to depend on others and ultimately on God working through others. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to share in the Lord's mission to others, but also to open ourselves to the Lord's mission to us through others. We have a treasures of the faith to share with others. What the second reading called the riches of the grace which God has so honored. Yet, others have a similar treasures to share with us. There are ways that we can bring the Lord's loving, healing presence to others, and there are ways we need to receive the Lord's presence from others. No one of us possesses all the riches of God's grace. It has been shared out between us all. We have to, we have much to give to others out of our relationship with the Lord and much to receive from others out of their relationship with the Lord. In virtues of our baptism, each one of us has been stand with the seal of the Holy Spirit. In the words of the today second reading to us about. We have each been gifted by the Holy Spirit in different ways, and we need each other's gift. In the Gospel reading, not only did Jesus send out the trials sufficiently vulnerable to require them to depend on others, but he sent them out two by two. He sent them out two by two rather than in video play. Jesus knew that a disciple's greatest success would be a called disciple. So that's why he sent two by two. We need each other's faith, each other's witness, each other's gift of the Spirit. We need the community of believers. We need the church. We need our brothers and sisters in Christ in the same faith if we are to share fully in the Lord's mission in the world today. So that's why we have a chance to gather together here around the Jesus table and we share our faith to each other. And may God bless us. Amen.